As some of you may have may recall if you have started to do the assignment already that we are looking at the general planar motion of a body of a rigid body and uh, in particular in the general planar motion we have started to look at the velocity okay so pehle hum sir velocity ka analysis karne ki koshish kar rahe and we saw ke how we analyze a general planar motion is ke we break it down into translation and rotation separately and then we just assume ke wo jo total uh, general motion hame mil raha hai that's actually the sum of translation and rotation theek so i hope you guys recall this part or if we have if we break down the problem like that as translation and rotation then we what we can do is ke hum in dono ko ek ek karke pehle परफॉर्म कर सकते हैं एंड देन वी कैन एड दैम अप टुगेदर सो दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट वी टेंड टू डू टू एनालाइज दिस प्रॉब्लम दैट वी ब्रेक डाउन द इंटायर प्रॉब्लम एंड कंसीडर के पहले रिजिड बॉडी एक हमारे कोई चोजन पॉइंट के साथ ट्रांसलेट करती है सो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई टेक दिस एग्जांपल ऑफ द व्हील अंडर गोइंग जनरल प्रमोशन एंड वट आई डन इज आई चोजन माई द सेंटर ऑफ द व्हील टू बी माई बेस पॉइंट Or what I've done is then that I've broken down the broken down the problem and first consider that the entire body translates with the center. Uske baad the body then rotates about my base point. So first of all, everything translates uh, the same amount as the base point, and then after that the body rotates about that base point. So if we do that, then we saw that okay, the analysis breaks down into a neat little relative motion analysis. This can there kisi bhi arbitrary point such as the one right here b, ki absolute velocity v b is just given by jitni pehle translation hui of the base point. So first it translated by the same amount, and then after that the effect of rotation about our base point. so that's why we get this expression right here for um for the general planar motion of a body and using this sort of an analysis of uh, using a base point and then performing the translation and then a rotation about that base point we can figure out the velocity of any point on the body <clears throat> right so the, i hope this is all ringing some bells and then next we saw okay of course this equation is actually a vector equation lekin isko hum do tarikon se analyze kar sakte hote hain one is of course the straight forward vector uh, vector arithmetic or vector algebra method that is ke we be careful and we define our each of our velocities uh, um, angular velocities and our relative position of b with respect to a Uh, as as vectors in cartesian coordinates most probably most probably because we're going to work in cartesian coordinates for these problems and then we just perform the cross product very carefully taking care ke signs kaise change hote hain when we do the cross product and so on and then of course if you are in 2d then this vector equation within it contains one equation in i component one component in j comp- one equation in the j component and the third equation in the k component um and so on so phir hum sab ko scalar equations ko sirf solve kar le lekin there's also the second way <coughs> which is that we can actually analyze that same problem graphically theek hai ji aur graphical problem uh, ko humne in de- depth discuss kiya tha ke um when we draw these vector velocities out uh, and use a head to tail rule then we can draw out triangles which relate them because we know ke vb is the resultant of va and the relative rotation velocity so phir then using that uh, um sort of graphical uh, solution we can use trigonometry to find any one of these components as we wish take okay. now the thing is that this this is basically what we're doing is we're drawing a kinematic diagram right aapko yaad hai hum particles ke liye bhi pehle kinematic diagrams banate hote the kinematic diagrams ke andar aur kuch nahi hota except ke hum wo velocity ya acceleration ke components ko draw out kar rahe hote hain and that's exactly what we did right so we drew out the velocity components in the head to tail rule like so 
Now, because this kinematic diagram involves the velocities, that's why this thing is also known as the velocity diagram. Now, in this, हम लोगों ने क्या किया था? हमने five steps establish किए थे, um, which uh, as I said to you guys, they're not in the slides, so that's why you do need to show up to some of the lectures. और वो five steps का जिसमें जल्दी से recall कर रही हूँ, which were के first we draw out what the resultant, the absolute velocities are. Of course, उसकी हमें some information is available because um, so for example, if we have a mechanism like so. Then हमें उनकी paths के बारे में कुछ पता होता है. So at this instant, I know कि b is going to be perpendicular to this path. The velocity of b is going to be perpendicular. Oh, sorry, is going to be tangential to this path because b is actually rotating about this uh, omega b c. So ये जो path circular बन रही है, उसके tangential होगी v b की velocity. Similar, a is going around this circular path because it's actually tied up to this wheel. So that's also going to have a uh, known velocity like so, uh, or at least the direction I know. Then, so this is the first step. Then the second step is that I break this down into the two. One is going to be translation. So everything gets translated by, let's say my base point is going to be A. So then everything gets translated by the same amount as A. Then my third point is, I start to draw out that what will be rotation wali kya hogi. That is, I am going to keep A fixed as my pin. It is fixed kya lehen ya pin kya lehen as we wish. But we know that now I am going to be performing uh, the relative rotation about A. So, I am just going to draw in that if A ke about rotation ho rahi hai, to wo koi ya clockwise ya anti-clockwise rotation ho rahi hai. So, how would B be moving? B ki velocity would of course then be perpendicular to this R B A. So I've just drawn in the direction. That's my number three. And then the fourth one I tend to do is I go back here. Ke meri jo ye final thi, iske upar I pop these in. So I know V A is going to be something like this. Iske upar. And then I know ke it has to be perpendicular the relative velocity due to rotation. So then I can complete my head to tail rule to get to my relative, uh, the resultant velocity of B. And I can see that this downward <coughs> relative velocity of B with respect to A over here. So that means that this goes, this must be down like so. So this is my fourth step to complete my uh, velocity diagram and now I can find out ke, okay that means ke omega b a must be something which is anti-clockwise to give me a velocity result uh, give me a relative velocity like so take or pair of course once I've got the the diagram sorted out I can solve for each of the components just using trigonometric rules and trigonometric identities so this is what we had covered. Uh, I just wanted to repeat this just to remind you guys. So um, yeah, so I hope ke, uh, it's clear. If anybody has any questions, of course, please ask. Uh, secondly, um, another thing that we had discussed was that we are instant ke liye analyze for instant. So this is just at one instant. Ya phir, matlab ye ki this these velocities ye jo humne Abhi koi VB nikali hai ya relative velocity ya phir A ki nikali hai. These are all instantaneous velocities because clearly as we have seen ke the, the velocities actually depend ke aap uske motion ke kaun se point pe the. So for example, agar if we go on to the next some other point after like a significant amount of time, to phir B yahaan pe hooga, A pata nahi kaha yahaan hooga maybe and what not. So that is their, their velocities would have changed completely and if you want to find the velocities then, then we have to perform this entire analysis again for that instant. Okay, so that is we are only doing when we are drawing out a velocity diagram or a kinematic diagram for these rigid body general planar motion, we are only doing it for one particular instant.
हम पूरी की पूरी पाथ को विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम नहीं फाइंड कर रहे हम सिर्फ एक टाइम के ऊपर फाइंड कर सकते हैं ओके परफेक्ट ओके सो दिस इज दिस इज ऑल दैट वी हैड डिस्कस सो नाउ लेट्स लेट्स मूव टू हमने वी हेड स्टार्टेड टू सॉल्व सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स सो इट्स ट्वेल्व इलेवन ओके और दिस एग्जाम्पल नंबर वन वी हैड ऑलरेडी डन लास्ट टाइम सो वी डन इट यूजिंग आर वेलासिटी डायग्राम्स और वी सॉ के क्योंकि हमने इतनी प्रैक्टिस कर ली होगी देन वी वुड बिकम सो क्विक वो ऑल दोज फाइव स्टेप्स वी कैन जस्ट कम्बाइन एंड जम्प एंड डू डेम ऑल एट वंस सो इसीलिए लेट्स प्रैक्टिस नाउ विद अन अदर एग्जाम्पल Uh, and this is a different looking mechanism this is a different mechanism or we're going to see how to analyze this one now so in this case uh, we have this uh, one sort of um, collar right here c which is only able to slide over this uh, vertical beam or pole or how you want to call it ठीक है सो क्लियरली सी का मोशन तो इज कन्फाइंड टू जस्ट बीइंग वर्टिकल बिकॉज ऑफ दिस स्लाइडर राइट हियर वेर एज दिस देन इज इट्स सी इज आल्सो पार्ट ऑफ अ इफ ऑफ अ ऑफ अ लिंक सी बी राइट हियर जिसका अदर पार्ट बी इज अगेन अटैच टू अ पिन कनेक्टिंग टू अनदर बीम ए जो कि सिर्फ गोज इन ए मूव्स इन ए रोटेटरी मोशन ठीक है क्योंकि ए जो है वो पिन हुआ हुआ इधर राइट उसकी तो कोई ट्रांसलेशन नहीं यू कैन सी कि ये तो फिक्सड है यहाँ पे बोल्ट्स भी लगे हुए नजर आ रहे हैं तो मतलब इधर से सिर्फ रोटेशन होगी सी ने सिर्फ ट्रांसलेशन करनी है इन दिस प्लेन सो बी इज द वन विच इज गन एंड ऑफ गेटिंग सम सोर्ट ऑफ ए जनरल प्लेनर मोशन बिकॉज इट इज इट्स अटैच टू बोथ दिस ए बी लिंक एंड दिस बी सी लिंक सो लेट सी हाउ वी हाउ वी कैन डू सो we are seeing that the collar c as this particular at this particular instant is moving down with a 2 meter per second velocity so what we want to find is the angular velocities of cb and the angular velocity of ab at this instant so we want to find omega cb likh lena chahiye inko convert the english into our uh, mathematical expression so omega cb and omega ab theek hai so <clears throat> let's proceed with our um kinematic diagram or our velocity diagram first so abhi bhi i want to still carry on doing the graphical approach rather than just using vector analysis and the purpose is because as i discussed with you guys ke even though the vector approach is perfectly well and good uske andar hum koi us cheez ke bare mein physically soch nahi rahe hote Whereas here it's going to be useful for us के हम जरा इसको डायग्रामेटिकली एक और एक और एग्जाम्पल करके देख लें ताकि इट बिकम्स री एनफोर्स के वॉट इज़ हैपनिंग फिजिकली टू दीज मैकेजम्स परफेक्ट सो इफ़ यू रिकॉल आई सेट दैट वे गन ब्रेक डाउन द प्रॉब्लम एंड इन टू ट्रांसलेशन एंड रोटेशन ब्रेक डाउन इन टू द फाइव स्टेप्स अभी फिर से लेट मी जस्ट डू द इंटायर फाइव स्टेप्स टूगेदर सो लेट्स फर्स्ट दिस कंसिडर क्योंकि हमें सी की वेलासिटी नोन है डाउनवर्ड्स सो आई एम गन फर्स्ट ड्रॉ द वेलासिटी डाइग्राम फॉर द लिंक सी बी ठीक है जी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सी बी को एनालाइज करते हैं सो दिस इज सी बी और आई कैन सी के द रिजल्टेंट नेट वेलासिटी ऑफ सी इज नोन इज जस्ट डाउनवर्ड्स ठीक है बी का भी कुछ नहीं नोन सो आई एम जस्ट आई एम लीविंग इट ब्लैंक फॉर नाउ आई डोंट क्वाइट नो वेयर इट्स कैन व्हाट्स कैन बी हैपनिंग टू इट ठीक है सो एक सेकंड के लिए आई एम जस्ट कैन पॉज हियर एंड जस्ट नोटिस के और कैन आई कैन आई कम अप विद सम मोर इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट बी और नॉट सो दिस इज लिंक सी बी नाउ एट द सेम टाइम लेट मी ऑल्सो लुक एट लिंक ए बी और उसकी जो टोटल सबकी वेलासिटीज़ हैं उनको ड्रा आउट करनी सो आई नो के ए इज़ फिक्स राइट हियर एंड बी इज़ समथिंग लाइक दिस सो ए तो वी ए इज़ जस्ट ज़ीरो इट इज़ फिक्स इट इज़ नॉट गोइंग टू बी मूविंग और एनी थिंग इज़ गोइंग टू बी हैपनिंग टू इट एट ऑल इंस्टेड द ओनली थिंग दैट वी 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 नो इज के देन दिस लिंक ए बी इज़ गोइंग टू बी रोटेटिंग राइट सो इट कुड बी having an angular velocity either which is anti clockwise or clockwise 
ابھی ہم اس کے بارے میں اتنا ہمیں اندازہ نہیں ہے لیکن تھوڑا سا ہم اس کے بارے میں سوچنا شروع کریں گے تو ہمیں آلریڈی پتہ چل جائے گا سو نیکسٹ واٹ کین آئی سی دین کہ اگر وی اے از فکسڈ اور پھر دس لنک از روٹیٹنگ تو پھر ڈو آئی نو سم تھنگ اباؤٹ دا ویلاسٹی آف بی یس آئی ڈو نو سم تھنگ اباؤٹ بی وچ از کہ اف آئی جسٹ لک ایٹ لنک اے بی دین وی بی از ایکچولی ایکول ٹو وی اے پلس اومیگا بی اے کراسڈ ود آر بی وتھ رسپیکٹ ٹو اے اور یہ وی اے زیرو ہے سو دین آئی ڈو نو کہ وی بی کی ایبسلوٹ ویلاسٹی از جسٹ بینگ کاز بائی روٹیشن رائٹ اور روٹیشن کا ہمیں پتہ ہے ایز دس اکویژن از ٹیلنگ ایس اینی وے از دیٹ دیٹ ویلاسٹی مسٹ بی پرپینڈیکولر ٹو دی ریڈیل پوزیشن دی ریلیٹو ریڈیل پوزیشن جوائننگ لنک اے اینڈ دا پوائنٹ اے اینڈ بی سو دیٹ از وی بی ہمیں پتہ چل گیا ہے مسٹ بی ان دس ہارزونٹل ڈائریکشن بیکاز اٹ ہیز ٹو بی پرپینڈیکولر ٹو آر بی اے ناؤ اوکے سو ناؤ آئی نو ایٹ لیسٹ دس مچ بٹ فرام دس اب میں ذرا تھوڑا سا زوم آؤٹ کر کے اس پورے میکنیزم کو دیکھتی ہوں اینڈ لمی سی کہ اچھا سی اگر نیچے جا رہا ہے تو اٹ سیمز انٹویٹولی مور لائکلی ٹو می کہ ایٹ دا نیکسٹ انسٹنٹ بی وڈ ایکچولی موو ٹو دا رائٹ ایز سی گوز ڈاؤن وائی کیونکہ وہ ہائپوٹنس کی لینتھ تو اتنی ہی رہنی ہے نا تو اگر سی نیچے جائے گا تو پھر بی کو تھوڑا اس طرف ہو جانا چاہیے رائٹ وڈ یو گائز اگری ود می آن دس دیٹ از بیسکلی کہ جی پلیز یس میم صحیح بات ہے صحیح لگ رہا ہے نا سو اف سی گوز ڈاؤن تو دا دا لینتھ آف دس سی بی لنک مس اسٹے دا سیم سو دی اونلی وے دیٹ پاسبل از کہ یہ بی تھوڑا ٹو دا رائٹ موو کر گیا ہے تو پھر یہ ریجڈ لنک ویسا کا ویسا رہے گا سو دیٹ از آئی ایم دین گنا سی کہ اچھا اس دیکھ کے یہ لگ رہا ہے تو دیٹ مینس کہ یہ جو میں نے ڈائریکشن ڈرا کی تھی کہ کین بی دس ہارزونٹل ڈائریکشن آئی آلریڈی نو کہ وی بی مسٹ بی موونگ ٹو دا رائٹ اینڈ فرام دیٹ آئی آلسو دین نو کہ اوکے یہ جو میگا بی اے ہے یا میگا اے بی ہے دے آر گوئنگ ٹو بی اینٹی کلاک وائز اور اب میرے پاس وہ ایکسٹرا پیس آف انفارمیشن آ گئی ہے ٹو اینالائز لنک سی بی جو پہلے ابھی نہیں تھی لائک جسٹ ٹو سیکنڈ اگو آئی ڈی ناٹ ہیو دیٹ وچ از کہ آئی ناؤ نو کہ وی بی از ان دس ڈائریکشن پرفیکٹ تو اب اگر وی بی آ گیا ہے تو اب اب لیٹ می جسٹ فوکس رائٹ آن ہیئر کہ اس چیز کا لنک سی بی کا انالیسز ہم پرفارم کرنا شروع کرتے ہیں سو فرسٹ اسٹیپ میرے پاس تھوڑی سی جگہ ایکچولی کم ہے تو مے بی لیٹس ٹرائی کہ وی ہیو بیکم سو یوز سو ہم پروفیشن ان کنیمیٹک ڈائیگرامس کہ ہم اسی کے اوپر سب کچھ ڈرا کرنے کی کوشش کرتے ہیں سو یو گائز ریمبر کہ ہم بی کا انالیسز کریں سی از آر نون سو دیٹ از آئی ایم ٹرائنگ ٹو گیٹ ٹو وی بی ود رسپیکٹ ٹو سی سو جسٹ ہیونگ رٹن ڈاؤن دس اکویژن ہیلپس می الاٹ ٹو کنڈکٹ دیٹ ویلاسٹی ڈائیگرام انالیسز سو دس از مائی ریزلٹنٹ وی بی اور اب مجھے پتہ ہے کہ وی سی ایک عدد نیچے آ رہا ہے تو میں اس کو ادھر ڈرا کر دیتی ہوں پہلے وہی سب کچھ ٹرانسلیٹ ہوگا الانگ ود دس اینڈ دین نیکسٹ آئی نو کہ آئی مسٹ ہیو سم تھنگ وچ از پرپینڈیکولر ٹو بی سی سو تو میری ڈائیگرامس پوری آتی نہیں ہے سو دس از اف آئی جسٹ کیری دس آن فارورڈ کہ اس کے پرپینڈیکولر آئی مسٹ ہیو دی وی بی ود رسپیکٹ ٹو سی سو دیٹ از وی سی تو نیچے آ گیا وی سی تو یو نیچے آ گیا جسٹ بیکاز ہمیں وہی ٹرانسلیشن والی ویلاسٹی کرنی ہے اس کے بعد وی بی ود رسپیکٹ ٹو سی دا ون ڈیو ٹو روٹیشن از گون ٹو بی پرپینڈیکولر 
to the link BC. Isn't it? So now let's figure out, okay, okay this is 2 meter per second. And this is now going to be 90 degrees because it is horizontal and it is vertical. So now we B by C or we have angles information hai ya nahi, to solve this particular problem now. So let me just point out that we do actually have the information. What I do know is that this is 0 0.2 and this is 0 0.2. So what does that mean? That means that this angle tha, this was 45 degrees. Right, they're both 0 0.2 and 0 0.2. So it's a right angle triangle which is uh, isosceles. Of course, it's 45 degrees. So what does that mean? That means that this angle 45 tha. This inner angle, can I zoom in? Yoga, say. This angle right here is 45. And if this 45, hai, then this small right angle triangle, I know that this angle 45 degrees. Hai. <laughs> Let me draw this in a little bit more in a, on a larger scale. So this is my resultant VB. We saw that okay, VC is going down with a magnitude of 2 meters per second. Then we were meant to have a perpendicular air VB with respect to C which is perpendicular to CB or uske uh, angle ke analysis we have figured just out that this is going to be 45 degrees. So ab I hope ke isi, this information is clear to us that this is enough for us to figure out ke VB by C ka magnitude kya hai as I can see that VB by C ka magnitude would be uh, 2 divided by cos 45 <clears throat> so that is 2 square root 2 just keeping ignoring obviously there are no rounding errors <clears throat> and also noting that we also know ke what this relative velocity is that is agar if you're just looking at the magnitude that is omega bc multiplied by r b by c ka magnitude. So that is I can then see ke omega b c multiplied by what was r b c? Oops, I ye bhi cheez nahi note ki thi. Ah, that would have been 0 0.2 squared plus 0 0.2 squared because wo dono ke base or height was this much. So that is zero point zero eight ka square root. So my omega BC turns out to be anyone ten radian per second. Now please note that I can also figure out the direction of this omega bc. Ye vb with respect to c is in that direction or ye cb kuch is tarah ki direction thi. This was the direction of cb, right? So clearly what is omega bc in? Wo agar upar ki taraf ja rahi hai. So that omega bc is like so anti-clockwise to get me this upwards relative velocity. So omega bc is anti-clockwise. Right? Anybody who is uncomfortable with everything that just happened, suddenly kahan se kahan punch hai, kya ho hai? Guys, okay. You please, कोई कुछ कह दे. Someone is turning their mic on. 
ओके मैम ओके तला ने सिर्फ कहा कि इनको आगे चलाएं बस ठीक है सो ओके सो लेट मी जस्ट गो बैक टू शो यू कि यही एटलीस्ट जस्ट लुकिंग एट द ट्रिग्नोमेट्री मैंने जूम की हुई थी सो जस्ट टू पॉइंट आउट अगेन के वॉट आई मेंट के आई नो के वी बी सी इज अपर्ड्स लाइक सो सो दैट्स वाई दिस ओमेगा बी सी की रोटेशन का मुझे पता चल गया इज जस्ट अगेन अगर आप इसको देख लें तो उससे नज़र आ रहा है राइट अगर मुझे बी सी को ऊपर की तरफ यूँ मूव करवाना है दिस वन इसके पैरल मैं यहाँ बना दूँ सो देन आई कैन सी इट मस्ट बी एंटी क्लॉक वाई सो परफेक्ट आई हैव मैनेज टू फाइंड माई ओमेगा बी सी या ओमेगा सी बी ऑल्सो यू गाइज डू रिमेंबर के वी हैड कंसिडर्ड लास्ट टाइम के वाई the rel the angular velocity of whether you consider it cb or bc is the same the angular velocity is just of that rigid body no matter which base point you take perfect so now let's come to omega ab so omega ab ke liye we need we we already got our expression right here so isi ke andar sirf substitute kar dete hain just noting ke we we can see ke ab hame iske liye vb chahiye और वी बी को भी फाइंड करने के लिए लेट मी जस्ट पॉइंट आउट कि हमारे पास वो वेलोसिटी डायग्राम ऑफ सी बी वाला लिंक ऑलरेडी है जिससे हमें पता चल रहा था कि दिस वाज एन आइसोसलिस ट्रायंगल सो दिस वी बी वुड हैव आल्सो बीन जस्ट टू मीटर्स पर सेकंड इन मैग्नीट्यूड बट इट इज इन दी आई डायरेक्शन इज टू द राइट हॉरिजोंटली सो इसी के अंदर लेट सब्सटीट्यूट इन वी बी इज गोइंग टू बी टू एंड देन ओमेगा बी ए Again, it's just omega b a, and then the magnitude of R b with respect to a that's zero point two. So omega b a or omega a b turns out to be also what? <clears throat> also ten radians per second. And in which direction? Also anti-clockwise. so we just happened to see ke both the angular velocities of these two links which are joined together in this mechanism are actually oh sorry is cuz i had gotten the direction 10 radians per second anti clockwise for both of them <clears throat> ma'am ji Ma'am, both of these angular velocity is having the same value and the same direction. It's just a coincidence, right here, right? Yes, it is just a coincidence. It just so happened that the these lengths were so the the um, the basically in in radii ki vajah se ho raha hai, ab ki vajah se. It's just a coincidence. Okay. तो जो जनरल दिस काइंड ऑफ वन रोटेटिंग मैकेनिज्म और सेकंड वन विद द ट्रांसलेटिंग कॉलर वाली चीज़ होती उसमें इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी कि वी वुड हैव द एट दिस पर्टिकुलर एक कोई भी इंस्टेंट पे हमेशा ऐसे थोड़ी होगा कि ए बी की लेंथ और फिर ये बेस लेंथ भी सेम है विच इज़ वाई दिस इज हैपनिंग सो अदरवाइज वुड जस्ट बी जनरल राइट ओके सो नाउ अब आई कैन इमेजिन के नॉट एवरी वन ऑफ यू इज़ गोइंग टू लाइक के हम बार बार ये फिगर्स uh, बनाएं और फिर फिगर से वी जम्प बैक वी लुक एट द मैकेनिज्म वी फिगर आउट के ओके okay, क्योंकि ये तो सिर्फ रोटेट कर रहा है सो so इसकी वेलासिटी शुड जस्ट बी टू द राइट वेलासिटी ऑफ बी एंड सो ऑन सो ऑफकोर्स अ नंबर ऑफ यू गन प्रफर के वी जस्ट डू एन एरेथमेटिक वैक्टर एनालिसिस और हम ये फिज़िकल प्रॉब्लम के ऊपर इतना ज़्यादा गौर ना करें दैट्स दैट्स फाइन बट एज आई सर इट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट टू हैव गॉन थ्रू सम ऑफ दीज ताकि वी कैन सी के इनके बारे में फिज़िकली सोच के भी वी कैन फिगर आउट वॉट द एंगुलर वेलासिटीज इन दिलासिटीज इन सो ऑन आर सो इसीलिए नाव वट आई वॉन्ट टू डू इज़ आई वॉन्ट टू मूव टू अ कपल ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स इन यूज़ दी वैक्टर अप्रोच राइट to perform to figure out k okay, what would be the uh, what would be the general planar motion of a particular mechanism so let me jump to sorry mere either solutions aayengi first let me jump to a 
an example of that nature. So now this time around, it's a different mechanism. By the way, you might have noticed now that we are doing a mechanism after mechanism. Kare chale ja rahe. Uh, and the reason is that, uh, and you will encounter these, I think you, have you guys been doing some labs, related, particular mechanisms in your dynamics lab? No, ma'am. No, not yet? Okay. Uh, then it's coming up in the mechanics of machines, which I I think I've already mentioned to you guys that this course will lead you towards more complex analysis in the mechanics of machine, which you will do either next semester or next year. So just pointing out ke why we're looking at these obsessing over mechanisms is because uh, engineering designs, appliances, um, components and so on have mechanisms inside them all over because hume yehi, hume ye, so frequently we have to do this which is ke we have to convert one type of motion into another. Thik? So for example, uh, let me just give you, so of course Gadi is such an obvious example, right? We're converting uh, engine ke andar se jo piston ki movements hoti hain, wo trans, they're just translating up and down. We're converting those into rotatory motion of our uh, axles and, uh, and then of the wheels, right? So that is we're converting one type of motion into another. Uh, uska, us, usi ki ek opposite direction ki example le lehen, jo motors ke saath hota hai aamtor pe, jo hamne itni sari examples ki hain. Or even this one is another example of that, that if we have a motor attached to let's say this point A, such that it is, there is a, the shaft of the motor is rotating and then this link AB is connected to that shaft, then it will rotate this link AB. And now that rotatory motion we want to convert into something else. Let's say printer hai. Printer ki ek choti si motor lagi hai jo wo paper ko draw in karta hai, right? So, um, how are we converting maybe motor kisi ek jaga pe lagi ho, hume rotatory motion kahi aur chahiye, ya phir maybe motor se hume koi translatory motion chahiye, ya phir hume koi general planar motion chahiye, and so on. So, it's all these mechanisms jo ye sab kuch karte hai. So, we need to understand ke how to analyze them before we can start to design them which is what's going to happen in mechanics of machines. So, abhi hum, because we're just in the beginning phases of our understanding of these things, so that's why we're focused on analyzing these for now. Okay, so sorry for that sli side note, but let me jump back into this, another example of a mechanism that we're looking at, where we have a bar AB, which has a clockwise angular velocity of 30 radian per second, when this theta is 60 degrees. So again, we're looking at the mechanism at this instant. Now we want to determine the angular velocities of member BC and the wheel at this instant. <coughs> Perfect. So as I said, this time around, I want to use a vector analysis. Ma'am? G. Ma'am, is the equation nikal sakti hai, ye AB ki hole mein? Abhi dekhe, hum try karte hai na zara. <clears throat> so, first thing that I want to point out to you guys is ke, uh, jo actually I am sorry, I forgot to mention in the previous example. Uh, but I, I just assumed that you guys can understand that. But I, let's be explicit here. This point B is attached to both link AB and to the link BC. Obviously, right? It's looking at it. This B Now, the important thing is that it is B. So, whatever motion of B we find from AB, then the motion will B as part of BC. Okay? That is, this point on AB and BC is coinciding. It's the same point. So, the motion of this point, whether we analyze AB link, or we analyze BC link must be coincident. It must be the same. So, isiliye piche bhi humne ye kiya tha. And I am sorry, as I said, I forgot to mention this. Ke I had figured out ke B ka motion kya hoga using link AB. Right? I figured out ke B must be to the horizon, right, to the right uh, horizontally. And then I'd use that same, <coughs> sorry. I'd use that same velocity 
and input it using when I was analyzing link CV. Why? Because this point is coincident. It's part of both of them and it must then have the same motion whether we look at AB or we look at BC. Take. So similarly here, that's what I want to point out. Okay, when I'm when I'm looking at this link AB or link this this link BC, when I look at the velocity of B, it would be the same. Take. So let's first look look at link AB. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop here link AB. Um, it would be a great idea for me to set up my coordinates because this time around I'm gonna need them. Uh, so let's just say that I have x, y, So if this is my uh, x to the right, y to the top, then z axis is coming out, right? Or if you use your, again, use your right hand grip rule. If the thumb is pointing out of the screen, then curl kis taraf ho hai fingers? Is direction mein. So this is my direction of positive uh, z. Right, so that's my direction of plus z. It's coming out. So I have just rotatory terms mein likhti either because it's, I can't really draw it in 3D now, can I? Okay, so link A B. <coughs> uh, let's uh, consider the velocity of B, which is joined to both these links. So V B is going to be equal to V A plus omega B A crossed with R B. A, all vectors noting right here abhi say ke A is fixed A is fixed to this support so V A A ne kai ni jana A is V A is 0 so then what do I have just ke V B is equal to omega B A crossed with R B A so let's start to substitute things right in here because we vector vector, right? So we don't need to we just need to write down each of these terms as vectors. So VB is going to be equal to, everybody do it quickly, right? <clears throat> 30 radian per second, but it is clockwise. So that's minus 30K crossed with RBA is 0.2 cos 60i plus sin 60j. Very careful, it's <laughs> RBA, matlab B tak, right? It is, uh, let's write it down here. Means RB minus RA, matlab ye ke. A se B jane ka position vector hai. So that's why if I look at it, it is positive both in the I direction and positive in the J direction. Ye arrow ki direction dekhe. Perfect. So solving this, V B kya jata hai my pas. Again, for the cross products, great idea. Hmm, aur mein bhool gai hoon, mera kyunke ye hal hai. Uh, <laughs> ke wo anti clockwise tha ya clockwise tha? Uh, right hand grip rule I'm guessing it's going to be anti clockwise positive Theke ji, so i j k because I am in a right handed coordinate system is liye wo i j k ka jo cross product ki direction hai wo bhi anti clockwise hi positive hoti hai so if I go from k to i cross product k se i jab ho raha jaise ke spelly term mein that's going to be a positive so that is then <coughs> minus 3 or jab k se i if i go i get j minus 3 j and then if i go from k to j in this direction i'm going in the opposite direction to my jo positive sign convention hai. so i'm going to get a minus i so that is 30 into 0.2 minus 3 square root 3 meters per second. Oh, sorry. Koi, anybody would like to point out that I made a mistake?
guys mistake alert mam ye second term ke sath positive aayega excellent thank you because yes k to j ja ke minus aaya aa raha hai lekin yahan pe ek minus hai so wo minus times minus becomes a plus Thank you very much. Thank you. So right, so I've figured out what my velocity of b is going to be. It's just mm, this i component and this j component, meters per second, of course. Now, as you guys noted, that I said that if b is the part of cb, ka bhi hissa hai, so if I look at link cb, and then I do the same, that velocity of b will be that is vb. With this, now considering just CB, so then what is that? That is VB is equals to VC. We take it as the base point plus omega again BC crossed with RB with respect to C. I hope that you guys have some familiarity with this. That this is relative position vectors. Which one? If I am finding the velocity of B, then it is the relative position of B with respect to C. Perfect. And VB is what will happen? VB हमारे पास ये रहा, so just substituting stuff in there और I am running out of space here so I might have to पहले मैं लिख लेती हूँ अंदर मिलती, so I have three square root three i minus three j is going to be equals to the velocity of c और vc के let's break it down into two components in the yeah, but we will leave it. Leave it as it is. We leave it as uh, VC for now. <clears throat> Plus omega BC. Again, it is a. Uh, uh, we you guys remember we're looking at general planar motion. I will write it down. Planar motion. And just kind of, we have seen that our that means that we are going to be having uh, rotations about just one fixed axis. And that axis is always going to be perpendicular to the plane of the motion, right? So that's why omega b c b. We already we know that it that must to be in the k direction. It must be in the z direction. Okay, so omega b c ko as it is unknown, and then this must be crossed with r of b with respect to c. So that is this relative position vector, which is Minus zero point two i. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Right. So, ये हमें कुछ पता चल रहा है. लेकिन इसके अंदर मेरे पास दो unknowns हैं. Now, v c is unknown and omega b c is unknown. Okay. So, two unknowns. We need another equation. Clearly. Now, uh, what I am going to do is कि I am if you guys just make a note of this, what uh, the link CB ke analysis se kya my pas velocity ki equation a rahi hai? Because I have to erase this and then come back here. So please, you've made a note and you're gonna dictate it to me again. So through link BC, or link CB, we know that VB is equals to. Sorry, yeah, let me be quick. <clears throat> BC I kept as unknown plus omega BC K crossed with just minus 0.2 I. Perfect. Now let's look at this is my equation number one. Now let's also again using the same point जो हमने b के बारे में किया था also note कि c जो है वो भी दो चीजों का हिस्सा है वो link c b का हिस्सा है और this wheel c d का हिस्सा है तो if I also do an analysis of not link but wheel c d then I can also write down an expression for the velocity of c which would be in terms of the velocity of d plus omega c d Crossed with R C with respect to D. अब इधर is same as A. D is pinned just fixed right here. So V D is zero. So V C हमारे पास क्या आ जाता है? 
again omega is going to be <coughs> omega c d k crossed with k uh, sorry omega c d is in, going to be in the k direction crossed with r c d matlab ye niche ki taraf that's going to be minus 0 0.1 j inko zara cross karke hum likh lete hain so what does v c turn out to be <coughs> v c turns out to be k crossed with j is negative so minus into minus 0 0.1 omega c d i perfect so my second equation comes up oh abhi bhi ye main thoda ah let's see yes let's substitute this in here 2 into 1 so I get 3 square root i minus 3 j that is equals to 0 0.1 omega c d i plus is ye k crossed with i could be evaluated kar dete. k crossed with i is j but minus hai. so minus 0 0.2 omega b c in the j direction k crossed with i k crossed with i i get a j now let's uh, uh, separate out the i and j components right vector equation hai, i j components this comes up is under bhi do equations hai. so just separating out i and j components so this implies 3 square root 3 is equals to 0 0.1 omega c d Solving this, I can find that my omega C D is what? <clears throat> it is about 52.0 to 3 significant figures radian per second. Omega C D 52 radian per second. Now, I just want to point out that when I had written it down the first time around, I had written it down scalar and vector. Mein alag kar diya tha. Matlab, omega C D was its magnitude. Or plus k direction mein tha. So, matlab ye ke usko already maine plus k jab liya wa tha. So, that was, if you remember, mara x, y and plus k direction was this one. So, that means that this 52 radian per second is anti-clockwise. So, uska hui vector pura version hume pata hai. Humne usko maine, agar mein paas ye negative answer aata na, then that would have meant that when I considered consider it plus k, it's just in the minus k direction. That is, it's just clockwise. Okay. So, for the j component, I can see that we have 3 is equals to 0 0.2 omega bc. So, omega bc turns out to be 15. Yes. Ma'am, is it possible that we can do this in the vector analysis? We have to know that the AB link is going to be clockwise. So, we can make a perpendicular to AB. AB is a perpendicular to AB. And we can do this in the analysis. We can do R omega and we can do this. Yes. So but, Abdullah, wo wala na, bilkul, aap hai, that would uh, that was just what we'd been doing beforehand, right? Jab hum draw kar kar ke, koi graphical approach use kar rahe the. So we're just trying to go through both of the approaches. So one is our graphical approach, just ke under hum uh, jaise aapne ka, ke information uh, use kar le, knowing that the relative velocity is perpendicular honi hai to the link itself and then we draw kar kar ke, unka, uh, analysis kar le. so that's also perfectly fine and try, try it out guys try this which we have done vector analysis in this we have done a little bit we have done a different we maths ko solve kar rahe or kare chale ja rahe Whereas in the graphical approach, you're drawing things out and then thinking about them. 
you are also of course more than welcome to combine the two a little bit or wherever we need so for example ye ek main ek example do aapko for example for the velocity of c if instead ke main i had stuck so like pedantically to using the vector approach if i had just seen ke main zara physically is problem ko dekh lu then i think we all can identify ke we see jo hai that is agar ye a b clockwise ghum raha hai then b is going to be moving to the uska ek right ka component hoga and that's why c will also have a component to the right that is i then can see just looking at the geometry of the problem that v c is going to be in the plus i direction so instead of writing it down vectorially vectorially i could have written this part down just you looking at the physical problem itself as well now but the thing is ke dono cheezon ko combine jab karna shuru kar dena to then you have to be a little careful ke um and not to make a mistake it's just more likely you ke usme system thoda kam ho jata hai right whereas uh, of course vector approach is just much more systematic uh but it's a bit blind you just substituting things in in my opinion both are perfectly fine and a combination of the two are also is also perfectly fine uh yes but wo scalar and the physical uh, cheez ki approach mein you need to understand how the thing would be moving and what's happening to be able to input these things ठीक है अच्छा आई नो आई एम जस्ट अ लिटिल बिट ओवर टाइम बट प्लीज अलाउ मी एक आखिरी एग्जाम्पल मैंने करनी थी मुझे वो भी कर लेने आप लोग प्लीज प्लीज सो यस इसके अंदर इट्स जस्ट डन मच मोर क्विकली राइट है हम लोग जब लिख रहे होते हैं तो हमें थोड़ी सी ज़्यादा देर लग जाती है बट नॉट अ बिग डील लेट्स इज लुक एट वन मोर एग्जाम्पल एंड देन वी कैन कॉल इट अ डे राइट सो दिस टाइम इट्स इट्स अ शेपर मैकेनिज्म which is designed to give a slow cutting stroke and a quick return to a blade attached to the slider at c acha iski na main actually aap logon ko wo dikhana bhi chahti hu ke wohi bar bar hum mechanism 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 ki baat kar rahe hain and then you will be looking at in mechanisms ke naam hote hain they are um, ek zamane mein 2 300 years ago yahi cheeze inventions hoti thi right log people would design machines aur unko patent karte hote the just because they were coming up with some one or the other new mechanism so engineers or inventors in pe bada kaam karte the us us waqt lekin uh, ab they just they exist their standards and uh, we can look them up and use them for whatever purpose we need so for example if we had a particular requirement where we needed a slow inward stroke and then a quick return मतलब ये कि ये सी जो है ना आहिस्ता से जाए विद अ लो वेलोसिटी बट वैन इट कम्स बैक इट हैज़ ए मच फास्टर वेलोसिटी सो दिस थिंग समथिंग लाइक दिस इज़ नोन एज अ क्विक रिटर्न मेकनिज़म और इस चीज़ का ना uh, नाम है आफ्टर द गाय हु लमी जस्ट शो यू गाइज यर आफ्टर द गाय हु मेड इट ओ इस वाले में हाँ ये लिखा हुआ है सो कैन यू सी माई स्क्रीन Yes, ma'am. Okay, perfect. So this thing is known as a quick return mechanism or a Whitworth mechanism. Or Whitworth was the person, or then the company, which had some product that was used in the first place, or then the first time it was recorded that it was used. So let's just see ke what the animation for this thing looks like. As I said, a slow stroke. Oh, yeah, it's a very slow. Slow stroke and then a quick return, relatively. ये रिटर्न हो रहा है ये स्लो एंड देन द क्विक रिटर्न नाउ इफ यू चेंज अप द लेंथ्स ऑफ द लिंक्स और या फिर चेंज दिस डायमीटर ऑफ द व्हील एंड सो ऑन यू कैन चेंज अप के वो कितना स्लो स्ट्रोक है और कितना तेज रिटर्न है एंड सो ऑन सो व्हाट आई वांट टू डू इज के लेट मी जस्ट शो यू right you can see the wheel is smaller than the previous one right oh ye kya ho gaya oh quick stroke 
uh, sorry, slow stroke, quick return. Oh, ho, upar dikha dein ye log, please, yes. <laughs> fast, slow, fast, slow. So you guys get the picture, right? So, um, as I said, different machines ke under uh, is kisam ke mechanisms use ho rahe for different purposes. Anyway, uh, so let's get back to one uh, variety of a quick return mechanism shown right here. Or uh, let's analyze it basically. So this shaper mechanism is designed to give a slow cutting stroke and a quick return to a blade attached at C. Determine the velocity of the slider block C at the instant when theta is equals to 60 degrees. Uh, if link AB is rotating at 4 radians per second or it is shown right here that it is uh, clockwise. So omega AB then is of course in vector form it is minus 4 K. Right. So if I have my X, Y, then Z has to be in this plus direction anti-clockwise or phi is given right here as 45 degrees because it will give us some information about how to formulate the relative position vectors and then A is equals to 300 millimeters and B is equals to 1 G. I mean, angular velocity positive new be yeah, clockwise and anti-clockwise oops sorry thank you thank you uh, so plus yes it is anti-clockwise I was making a mistake right so let's jump in and just use the vector analysis as we've been discussing so clearly we we want to find the slide velocity of the slider C so why don't we first look at a B link to find the velocity of B kya hogi, and then look at B C or then figure out ke using that analysis then we can perhaps knowing the velocity of B then we can find out the velocity of C right so let's jump right in uh, link A B first so for that I can see that V B is again V A is 0 so that's just 0 plus omega B A crossed with R B A so V B is going to be equal to omega B A which we know is plus 4 K crossed with R B A this one okay B with respect to A so that is 0 0.3 cos 60 I plus sine 60 J so what we get <clears throat> Anyone? If you want to do it, we will do it quickly. Okay, so we And what is the I component? Eighteen. 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 So, कुछ ठीक नहीं लग रहा था Hmm. 1.04 मुझे तो ये भी ठीक नहीं लग रहा <laughs> नहीं ठीक लग रहा है यस थैंक यू और अब्दुल्ला वाज इट वाज इट अ प्लस और अ माइनस प्लस मैम मैम इंटीजर्स ही हैं सर सो Oh, mm -hmm. integers is so nahi hai, kyunke ye cross product ho hai integers hai, lekin cross product hai. Minus 1.03. Tala careful, uh, sorry, Abdullah careful, cross product hai. So cross product ke andar, depending ke, if k is being crossed in which direction. Minus hona Minus hona chahiye. Zero four i. Perfect. So then looking at link bc, I have vc is in terms of vb plus omega CB crossed with RCB. Okay, so
ah do we again ab wo karna padega we will have to look at the physical problem we can see that we the slider c is confined to a horizontal uh uh motion right so vc must be in the i direction only there is no j component for it kyunki wo sirf reciprocating under by either he translate kar raha hai to the right and left right and left that's it so vb we have minus 1.04 i plus 0.6 j plus uh, omega cb k crossed with r c b which is 0.125 ka cos 45 in the minus i direction minus and then plus sin 45 in the j direction so if i write down the two equations abhi idhar idhar let me try to write them down so i see i ke andar i have we hope sees ah we see is equals to minus 1.04 plus idhar se dekhte hain k crossed with i to j dega k crossed with j jo hai that's going to give me a minus <coughs> 0.008 perfect thank you minus 0.08 0.08 Eight eight. Yes, ma'am. Eight eight. Zero point zero eight eight. Uh, uh, I. यही था ना बस ये k crossed with j ये वाला component. So perfect. ये आ गया हम. Oh, omega c b. And uh, this is one equation that we have. And the second equation. Let me move here. Sorry for that. So let me move here. Don't please. आप लोगों के पास paper होगा. Don't be so disorderly as I've been. this makes reading the answer or analysis difficult or following it difficult so 0 is equals to 0.6 j components ka na 0 either phir ye 0.6 and then k crossed with i which is minus wo hi aa raha hai 0.088 ma'am jo niche wale na usme 0.0 do dafa hai aur isme 8 do dafa hai ऐसा कैसे हो सकता है कॉज फोर्टी फाइव और साइन फोर्टी फाइव इक्वल नहीं होते तला एक मिनट मैं मैं चेक करता हूँ यस प्लीज डू मैम यही आंसर ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है थैंक यू सो इसके थ्रू ये इक्वेशन में सिर्फ ओमेगा सी बी है सो आई कैन फाइंड वट ओमेगा सी बी इज and it turns out to be 6.79 radians per second koi rounding error ho sakta hai yahan pe and that is of course omega cb humne anti clockwise hi assume kiya tha wo anti clockwise hi hai then substituting it into 1 we will be able to find ke vc turns out to be One point six four i meter per second. Now, this I've converted into a vector. Arij or anybody else, could you confirm if this is? Uh, yes, ma'am. Ye. Yeah, yeah, Arij. Okay. so this two different ways of doing the same analysis if we prefer we can easily just do the graphical approach as well now the thing is people we all work differently right some people just like uh some people work better with numbers like so whereas other people work better graphically so we should be aware ke what are our strengths and then use that approach which fits us more theek okay? hai so we've looked at both our methods using a velocity diagram or using a vector approach to solve the uh, to solve or find for the velocities under gen general planar motion 
और सो आई होप कि आप लोग प्रैक्टिस करके यू विल बिकम कंफर्टेबल विद विच एवर अप्रोच यू गाइस प्रेफर आई वुड रेकमेंड कि अभी इनिशियली अभी आई नो कि व्हेन वी डू थिंग्स इन क्लास इट टेक्स इज अ बिट लॉन्गर वेर इज वेन जस्ट अ पर्सन इज डूइंग इट यू कैन डू इट क्विकली सो ट्राई जस्ट गोइंग थ्रू दीज टू एग्जाम्पल्स जो हमने वैक्टर अप्रोच से किए गोइंग थ्रू दैम यूजिंग द बिलासिटी डाइग्राम एंड ट्राई गोइंग थ्रू द टू प्रॉब्लम्स जिनमें हमने वेलोसिटी डायग्राम यूज की थी ट्राई टू गो थ्रू देम यूजिंग द वेक्टर अप्रोच एंड सी हाउ यू फील बेसिकली सो सो यप सो दैट्स इट फॉर टुडे एंड देन इनशा ऑन थर्सडे वी गन स्टार्ट टू लुक एट एक्सेलरेशन अंडर जनरल प्लेनर मोशन राइट सो दैट्स इट थैंक्स वेरी मच गाइज आई एम अराउंड फॉर एनी क्वेश्चन अदरवाइज यू गाइज आर फ्री टू गो